Oh yeah, in this video, looky here guys, I have the all new Rip R Evo by Piranha. You can see how right here, the lack of bow rocker compared to the, the Ripper medium. Very low bow rocker, but they stayed wide up here, which I like because for an extreme slalom boat, and what this is, this is like made just for extreme slalom, but you can also do like downriver play, similar to boats like the Prion Pike and the Zet Chili. This is a 75, it will be available in three sizes. I think it's a 65, 75, and 85 from what uh, I was told by Piranha. So what I liked about this boat is, it's very low volume right back here. I'm gonna do some laps out there and kind of like show you guys exactly what I'm talking about when I'm like, the volume here, but it's tapered down. Unlike the rippers and uh, like a more river runner style boat, it's wider back here. This is very narrow and it tapers down flat. And surprisingly, it gets on this tail so easy on stern squirts. I did not expect that because when I paddled the Prion Pike and the Zet Chili, those things were like a beast to get down on the tail. This thing, I could flat water it in one paddle and everything, just like one hand go in circles. It's that good because it goes back narrow right here. Right now, I'm going to kind of go over the outfitting because it's pretty bare bones outfitting because these boats are made to paddle for like 90 seconds at the most, maybe 50 seconds. I don't know. And they want to keep them around about 18 kilos. Look at how they did the outfitting. No ratcheted back band. It just has, they, it looked like they repurposed the thigh hookers and two bolts into a drop down rim with like very slim right there. And it's not, it's, it's pretty sturdy. It functions surprisingly well. I would loosen those up and get a little tighter, but I am just doing kind of a, a demo for you guys. The back band is the back band that's similar to the um, PH Vir Virgo. I paddle the Virgo. It's a stain style back band as the Virgo. A bolt through there. I mean, the, it has a like a cord running through there, runs through the back band, and you adjust it right here. Surprisingly, all works pretty good. So it looks like what they might be doing is they've got the foam lifted up. But this edge right here is so freaking low. You're looking at six inches. Look at this. From the ground to here is only six inches high. That is very low for that area. Very similar to a slalom boat, which makes sense because this is made for speed. Going up here, now up here, it was pretty comfortable. It felt kind of like a modern, like full slice. I mean, modern um, half slice, the bow. Not as much rocker, a slight peak here, but it's very flat and rounded off. Only has two handle points on it because for extreme slalom, all they need is one in the back, one in the front. So it does have two handle points, but at least the handle's kind of further back here. Boat looks good just sitting here. It kind of looks fast. When you're looking at it, it looks like it's fast. Everybody that I've heard that's paddled it on whitewater courses, it's one of the fastest kind of extreme slalom boats out there. The bulkhead, it's kind of the same, but a little bit different. They rivet a big plastic plate right onto the rotor molded bulkhead. So it's just big plastic plate. You don't have any foam. And you can see there's a very small foam wall up there with a rotor molded pillar here. And there's no volume back there to put anything. So good luck if you think you're going to run kits or something back there. Seat adjustment still the same as all the other Piranhas. Two bolts here, some accessory loops there. They're a little higher. I think this is like maybe one of their touring seats. Let's see what's going on on the hull. You can see on its edge there, it's like not as thin as the medium ripper, but it's pretty damn thin all the way up and then gets wider, but it doesn't widen until you get almost here, which if you look, you're less than a foot behind the, the cockpit rim before it starts widening up where most half slices will come up and start widening up here and get fuller here. This one's tapered off and rounded for dropping in very thin all the way up to this point and then widens up and then looks like more of a modern half slice but oh boy look at this thing look at the size of that wave deflector that's as that wave deflector is as big as like the large ripper that i paddled if you guys haven't seen that video go check that video out because look at the size of that that's probably a half inch wave deflector that runs down and those things what helps dropping in and getting up on that bow and it runs this one runs all the way down and right where the bulkhead screws it kind of fades into an additional rail right there very interesting how aggressive they made that not super wide here like if you look at the scorch and the ripper it's very wide in this point while wow, they have like an additional rail that runs down 
it's flat but it's tapered and then it fades out right there drops back into that rail this is a different hull than what's on the ripper little bit of negative rocker you can see it and that's why it's got so worn right there i'm liking the looks of this hull so there's two specs of this there's a national spec and an international spec and the international specs will be all carbon outfitting for obviously additional price you can get carbon outfitting this is just a regular drop-in track seat this is what you would get if you ordered this you know the national spec that's the walkthrough on the ripper evo i don't know what the r is so maybe that's what they're calling it rip r rip r funny that's all i got on the walkthrough check out the on water review coming soon Woo!